Good girl. I just, I already stayed away from it. I already stayed away from it. Hello world, my name is Cesar Milan and I wish you nothing but safe, peace and love. And since we're all spending a lot of time inside our homes right now, I think it's only fair for me to show you how to challenge the mind of a dog in something so simple, which is ignoring the food. So I'm gonna show you everything you need to know so you can challenge the mind. If you challenge the mind, then you're gonna have a dog that is absolutely tired. All right, let's talk about the tools you need to play this game. Again, it has to be a game, follow, play, explore. We're gonna do follow and play at the same time. So you need two types of scent. One, you're gonna need one where the brain is gonna reject, it's gonna stay away from it. So the second scent you need is food. Eventually we can get a little bit more advanced with different scent. And I will show you how to do that because it's so important for, to make sure that your dog gets challenged every day how to leave scent alone. Not sight, not sound, but scent. You wanna make sure that you control the nose, you wanna make sure that you talk to the nose, you wanna make sure that that nose know what to do with the smells around. If you control the nose, you control 60% of the brain reaction. And most of the people that I work with, they don't ever address the nose, they always address the eyes and the ears. So the, the game for today, or the lesson for today, is going to be about how to connect, communicate, and have a relationship with the nose. So right now I am in my kitchen, everybody has a kitchen. So let's empower ourselves with areas of our home. Let's make sure that we know how to guide our dogs, how to utilize our environment. Our environment should always feel safe, peace and love. Most, time, most of the time people wanna train the dog. I always wanna train the human how to utilize their home, their food, their rules, their boundaries, their limitations so the dog understand from a natural, simple, profound, what to do, how to do it, the nose, the eyes, the ears, everything tells him so you don't verbally have to tell him what to do, he just naturally know. So I'm gonna use red wine vinegar, really you don't need a lot, even a drop would be enough. It's just so you know how powerful the nose of a dog is and why it's so important to make sure we structure that nose. Because remember, they can pick up scent a mile away before you get there. So by the time they get there, they should know what to do. That's why you see a lot of people being pulled in the streets because the nose of a dog is taking the human to different smells. So it's very important to me that my scent is not put on anything, especially in the beginning. I don't want my scent to attract them. I want just this brand new scent, anything that is new, anything that I don't want them to touch. I don't want to be related to it, except that they can come to me, they can count on me. So my scent, my sight, my sound is something that is going to give them direction, it's going to guide them, it's going to take, take them to follow and play. So what we want is for them to go into a follow state, that means they're going to pay attention. They want, we want them to be a little happy-go-lucky, so that we want them to see it as a game. So my scent, my sight, and my sound is going to be involved on the follow and the explore. This is going to be involved in that not to be touched, okay? So I'm going to show you how certain scents will, not, will make the brain not move forward, okay? But for that, I don't want my dogs to smell my scent, and so that for that I'm going to wear gloves. So I'm gonna put it anywhere. Now I'm gonna go bring Sophia. Sophia has no idea. This is part of the fun, this is part of the surprise, this is part of the game, right? So it's, it's thinking like, a, like your dog is having a birthday party and you're throwing games, okay? So, so she doesn't know that I played this there, but she sees it, look. See the smell? Good girl, that's a good, good solving that problem. That's really good. So the sight saw it, then the nose picked it up, and then as you saw, she kept distance. That's exactly what we want. There he goes again. Very good! That's really good way of solving problems. You saved my life. Why my life? Because what about if it's acid? What about if it's, uh, eventually you can change this to a, a here in LA we have rattlesnakes. So eventually you can change that to a rattlesnake. That's what the nose have to pick up on the scent. It's for absolutely safety purposes. It's uh, preventing anything that you don't want your dog to touch. But at the same time, it's also a game for a dog that if he smells something, not to go forward. So that means self-control. We need to have self-control in order for us to actually control the brain. So they have to also participate in this self-control. Very good, that's really good. 
that's really so when you walk in the street and they smell something they ignore it so that's what you want the brain to do right move forward move away disengage surrender to the activity so what what how do you know your dog is this is beautiful this is surrendering to the activity that's a good girl that's a good girl good girl Sophia so this is the secret okay the secret here is that your dog automatically rejects or stay away from that scent that you put in the floor she didn't know I put it on the floor as far as she know it was dead right that's why it's important that your dog doesn't see you doing it and doesn't smell anything in that object that you put in the floor otherwise you're gonna be related to it or she, by having your scent she's gonna to want to, oh she is your good girl this is amazing I mean this I'm rewarding calm surrender she feels safe she's comfortable she's understanding not to touch and not to move forward okay so that way the brain knows okay it smells in the floor I stay away I ignore them he gives me affection he feels really good so what I'm doing he's so happy about it they want to do whatever you want them to do or whatever makes you happy right so no one in this world will ever try to do whatever makes you happy if, if whatever makes you happy is not to touch the food that's what they're going to do but you have to be connected trust respect love you have to be clear nose eyes ears see this is the foundation before you teach so before you ask the dog follow me so you learn obedience Play with me so I, 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 I buy a toy so I can play with you, explore with me so we can go in the redwoods but don't go too far, right? So that follow, play, explore comes after connection, communication, relationship. So this is actually the outcome of having a great connection, communication and relationship, okay? So as you see, I have a leash just in case I need it, but the four walls in the house should be plenty. So I'm going to take Sophia again and I'm going to show you how to practice not touching food now. Okay, right. So the dog has to adapt. This is new. I come to this kitchen every single day, but that object wasn't there. I adapt. Imprint, stay away from. Learn. Oh, make six are happy. All right. So if I things are in the floor, what I learned today is adapt, improvise, and learn. Right, so, so she uh, immediately understood that that smell keeps her away from it. If we start with a smell that we know is gonna bring the move forward, it's gonna be more difficult for her. You start with a smell that teaches exactly what you want. So now we have six, six, six different smells. As you see, I have it covered with aluminum foil. I didn't want Sophia that when she come in to redirect herself to come here. Now, when you start your exercise, don't put all the six smells at the same time. Every single smell is like watching a different movie. So you have to understand that every smell, you have to practice it as the way we practice each color. So when you learn what color is this when you're a toddler, so what color is this? And they say red, okay. And then you say red when it's green. See, it's a different color. So for her, even though we have cheese, we have bacon, we have... Um, what else we have? Uh, ch chicken broth, or we have broth, and we have sausage, and we have uh, shrimp. So she's going to know it's different smells. We're six different smells that my brain learned to ignore, which is exactly what I did with the vinegar. That's what you want. So any, any kind of food on the floor, what you want the brain to remember is don't touch it. So if your dog learn not to touch food on the floor, your walks are gonna be way, way funner. Your dog is gonna practice self-control. Self-control instead of going to every single smell. And like I say, eventually we do, we're gonna do with more advanced smells, which is poop, which is fur, which is different things. Uh, different things that makes the brain also move forward. And it's very, very important to practice as well because the brain now because the brain learned to ignore food, the brain learned to ignore everything else. So we're gonna try this one. This is eggs with, with the shrimp. So here he is. Okay, watch the difference. Here we go. <laughs> so make sure your dog is calm and happy-go-lucky state. You know, it's like you're in the, in the streets, you know, it's fun. Again, this is the fun part about it. You keep walking, you keep walking. There you go, she, see, that's the brain is remembered. That object in the floor is like, I already stayed away. Good girl, 
just, I already stayed away from it. I already stayed away from it. There you go. Oh, that was a good girl. That was a good girl. You did amazing. You did amazing. You saw it. It's just that split second. You know, she knows it's that, that's a new smell. And she also remembered to not, look at that. That's a good girl. Goodness, oh my goodness. That's a, I mean, that's a dog that is learning extremely fast, but there you go, here he goes. How, you can see how she's understanding that as a completely new smell. Look at the circle. The circle means respect. The circle means I understand. Ooh, ooh. Wow, that's a good girl. Oh my gosh, she deserves a treat. She deserves a treat. Now, before you give the treat, make sure, look, get the nose, get the nose involved. Don't just put them in the mouth. Because you're not, <laughs> look at that. There we go, there we go. Get them excited about this thing. Like, make it work for it. All right. It's not how big the treat is. It's how much they have to work for it. How excited it is to work for it. You know, it's how much they have to figure it out. You know, otherwise, if you make it so simple, that has more power than your way of being a coach. All right, I think she's ready for more. Okay, so now that you see that she understood with one, now you add two or three. Good girl, come on, let's go, let's go. Now let's, let's do a, a little bit more advanced because she actually understand the concept. She definitely uh, figured it out. So you can see how her brain is participating. And not only that, she's having a good time, right? So it's not just about teaching the dog, but it's can the dog have a good time, especially inside your house. Think about it. You have the time to teach the right thing. I don't have the time, but guess what? We have the time. We have the time to be calm, confident, love, and joy. We have the time to practice, follow, play, explore. We have the time to create trust, respect, and love at 100%. And people should have 100% connection, communication, and relationship with their dogs at home. Sausage. We're gonna use bacon. This is turkey bacon. Now we're just adding, as you see. Now it's more. Now she's gonna see not one, not two. She's gonna see three. That's a good girl. Again, just like you didn't set it up. That's, you didn't do it. You know, it was just there magically up here. And she's going through like a champ. That's a good girl. Good girl. Woohoo! That's a good girl. Oh, she this definitely deserves. She definitely deserves. She definitely deserves. Oh my god. Oh, that's the part where you there you go. Now she see that she's definitely recognizing a different scent. Right? So the, the fun is over here. The, is you can't get distracted, that's why. Stay focused, do your homework. That's a good girl. Yeah, she went back to the distance. Good girl. Ah, she's a good girl. Yes, yes, a good girl. Yes, yes. Woo! That's a good girl. Oh my God, that's a challenge. This is an obstacle course of scent. This is an obstacle course of scent. This is like self-control. This is like a diet. This is the way you do a diet for the, for the nose. Come on, that's a good girl. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my god. The ultimate thing is for them to perform in front of, you know, this obstacle. She's like, come on, come on, that's a good girl. Hop, hop, hop. Yeah, hop, 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 hop. Hey, good girl, that's a good girl. I think we're ready for the, for the grand finale. Come on, Sophia, come on. You have an egg salad, you have a sausage, you have shrimp, you have cheese, you have broth, and you have bacon, turkey bacon, right? So for that, I'm gonna bring everything. Nose, eyes, ears, I'm gonna bring me. I'm gonna bring a little bit tug of word, you know, in order for her to get like super excited, like forget about all this thing in the floor. Caesar is the funnest thing in this planet. That way, you're redirecting your dog to you. So if you're gonna give anything that is here should come from you, not from the floor. That's my point. Can you give your dog broth? Yes, you can. Can you give a dog turkey? Yes, you can. Can you give a dog shrimp? Yes, you can. Can you give a dog cheese? Yes, you can. Can you give a dog egg? Yes, you can. Can you give a dog such? Yes, you can. 
The thing is, it has to come from you. That's the idea. That's the key. So the dog learned to ignore every smell on the floor unless you give it to them. And that's actually for safety purposes. That's it. So but it makes the brain very disciplined. This is why I need people to understand. This is why I want the world to understand. The discipline means structure. The discipline means beauty. The discipline means clean. The discipline means understanding. The discipline means following the formulas, the rituals and the symbols. That's what discipline is. If we don't have discipline, we're not gonna be able to achieve what we want. That's it. See, something fun to something challenging. Ah. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my goodness. Oh my God, oh my Good girl, that's a good girl, good girl, yeah. It's a good girl, good girl, good celebration. Good girl. That's a good girl. And we have not paid yet with food, so this is good. I will leave the food for later. Or oh, the smell and the food. Good girl. That's a good girl. Yes. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Look at that. That's a good girl. Gosh. See, a bit more challenging smells. That's a good girl. So now that she's, her, her nose is picking up everything, I'm gonna bring a, a different smell. I've been cooking these gizzards. They are absolutely, look, look at this. This is special food. This is something that is whew, the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate pay. Look, so as long as it comes from your hand, look at this. Girl, oh my goodness, see? Everything disappears, everything disappears. I'm not using this kind of food to pay. I'm using a different kind of food. Actually, this is even cheaper than this, but it's, it's an internal organ that has this smell uh, of, of animal, right? So, very good, Sophia, very good. Yes, very good, very, very good. Stay, stay. So remember, we went from play to follow. This is what people would call obedience. Stay. Good girl. Now we practice in obedience. Stay. Good girl, that's a good girl. Good girl, that's a good girl. Now we're just gonna practice to follow me. Very good, she went fast quick, but I want her to slow down so she actually gets the challenge. Otherwise, she, she practices too fast. Very good, that's beautiful. You saw how she paid attention to that. I'm gonna reward that because she knew they were right next to her, but she, she didn't move forward. She just acknowledged them. I don't want her to focus two seconds on anything. Not two seconds. Very good. I have everything that she needs right now. And that's it. Now she used her adaptation. She figured it out. Imprint, learn, and the game is over. Good girl. Guys, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And most importantly, thank you for helping me to achieve better humans, better planet.